coal had been known throughout history and um, people started mining it at outcropping seams and lumps washed up on beaches and then they started deepening the pits and um, this led to the most remarkable technological development of all time one could say and as the pits were deepened they started to flood that led to the pump at first a bucket then a hand pump then some ingenious person made put two pumps together and fed steam into one to move the other one so you had the steam pump the steam pump became the steam engine and then around 1860 or so a German engineer Nicholas Otto by name found a way to put the fuel directly into the cylinder and this made a much more efficient engine called the internal combustion engine and first this thing ran on benzene distilled from coal and then turned to petroleum refi uh, refined from crude oil and this this abundant source of cheap energy just changed the world in unbelievable ways uh, it allowed the population to grow six times almost exactly in parallel with oil supply and it changed the world in really completely unimaginable ways and now we live in this modern world of of uh, wherever you look there's a, an internal there's the throb of an engine somewhere but what most people don't realize that every gallon used means one less left and that is because oil is a finite resource formed in the geological past. That means there's only so much there. And it also means that the quicker you use it, the quicker it's gone. So that's the overall situation. And now we enter a phase. We enter, well, this is a large, complex subject that's not so easily answered. But broadly speaking, we now enter the second half of the age of oil. We've been through the first half when everything grew in parallel with the oil supply and now we're heading into decline of the fundamental energy and that really affects every aspect of life you could imagine. So this is some sort of turning point for mankind of really unbelievable proportions because I don't think ever in the history of, of man or even longer has there been such an explosion of activity and people and changes as the last century or so has seen. So this is some extraordinary event really and since we're living in the middle of it it's very hard to exactly see it or exactly understand it or to be, be uh, in any way firm about uh, what's happening but the overall picture does become clear.